Hi everyone, my name is Elias Graf from Swissens. In this video, I will show you how the Swissens atomizer works and how it brings particles into the air. Let's go. Why is the Swissens atomizer the particle dispersal for any application? If you are working with an aerosol particle measurement system like the Swissens Poleno to classify airborne particles, you need to reliably generate reference datasets in the laboratory. For this task, you need to aerosolize thousands of particles in a reproducible and easy controllable manner. This not only seems familiar to those who want to create large datasets, but to all those who face the aerosolization of solid and dry particles for any other reason. Some of the traditional methods even expose the operator to the aerosolized materials and therefore pose a potential health risk. We at Swissens search for a simple and standardized method to disperse particles, as we had the urgent need to generate large datasets out of limited amounts of particle samples and to calibrate and test our systems. We struggled with particles sticking to each other, inconsistent particle concentrations and the necessary effort to aerosolize a large number of particles. Facing these difficulties, we developed the Swissens Atomizer. The Swissens Atomizer is the only compact and mobile particle disperser on the market. Through automation and remote controllability, it vastly simplifies the process of generating datasets, measuring particles or just dispersing particles into the air. The Swissens Atomizer was successfully tested with various materials like different pollen, spores, Arizona test dust, silica dust, various sizes of pear cells, and many more. For us at Swissens, the Swissens Atomizer is the helper for all aerosol particle generation tasks. It helps to greatly reduce the time and effort requ required for aerosol particle generation and to further automate this process. So what is the Swissens Atomizer useful for? The Swissens Atomizer is a particle dispersal based on mechanical atomization. It takes cuvettes with dry and solid particles and aerosolizes small adjustable concentrations of materials. The atomization process can be controlled by push buttons and the current settings are displayed on the e-ink display. A rechargeable battery ensures the mobility of the Swissens Atomizer. The Swissens Atomizer has the ability to be controlled remotely by a computer connected with a cable. This offers the possibility to place the Swissens Atomizer in a closed chamber while the automation process can still be controlled. This means that the operator of the Swissens Atomizer is not required to be near the device and therefore is not exposed to the aerosol particles. It also offers the opportunity to create a feedback loop with the measurement instrument. The Swissens Atomizer is not bound to a fixed airflow rate due to its possibility to generate particle concentrations in a wide range. This makes it, makes it the particle dispersal for any application. With the Swissens Atomizer cover, with a HEPA filter, the generated aerosol particles are conducted directly to the application environment without losses. This allows for an economical use of sample materials and prevents the contamination of the generated test aerosol particles. With the window and the integrated illumination of the sample cuvette, the operator can monitor the dispersion process even with the cover attached. How does the Swissens Atomizer work and how is it utilized? The Swissens Atomizer loosens up the sample powder by applying mechanical vibration, which helps to break as adhesive links of particle agglomerate as a result of the acceleration forces. The sample powder is placed in a macro cuvette, which is mounted on the vibration plane. The vertical movement of the membrane and the cuvette aerosolizes the top layer of particles. The particles suspended in the cuvette are then transported out of the cuvette by a weak airflow generated by the integrated blower. The generated aerosol particles are then sucked away by an external airflow. This might be a connected measurement device or any other application. The aerosolization process of the Swissens Atomizer can easily be controlled by the control panel. Various types of particles with different shapes 
masses and sizes react differently to the vibration frequency. Therefore, the vibration frequency can be tuned by the operator so to support the aerosolization of all kinds of particles. Frequencies in the order of 50 Hz have been found to perform well for particles with, si with a size of a few 10 micrometers, such as pollen. To control the number of dispersed particles, the vibration amplitude can be changed. Larger values, which means a longer pathway the qubit travels per vibration cycle, typically cause more particles to be aerosolized, thereby increasing the particle concentration. Another setting to control the aerosolization efficiency is the air blower speed. This changes the amount of air blown into the cuvet and in turn picking up particles. Additionally to the device interface, these settings can be changed on a remotely connected computer, either with command line inputs or the graphical interface. The GUI even adds the possibility of saving proven presets, for example, types and applications. This slow motion video vividly illustrates the operation principle of the Swiss atomizer. In this video, you learned more about the applications of the Swiss atomizer, how it works, and how it is utilized. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to find out more about our solutions and latest developments, go to our website on swissens.ch, subscribe to our newsletter, or send us your requests by email. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We hope to see you next time. Goodbye.